Nokia 900 Worldwide Edition, expected second quarter 2012. The worldwide version of the Nokia Lumia 900 follows on from the AT&T version announced last month, with a few minor changes along the way. In case you missed the Lumia 900, here's a quick rundown. This is a Windows Phone 7.5 device with a large 4.3 inch 480 by 800 pixel display, a 1.4 GHz processor with 512 MB of RAM and 16GB of non-expandable flash memory. On the back is an 8 megapixel camera with 720p video capture, plus a secondary 1 megapixel camera on the front. The large 1830 mAh battery is quoted as giving up to 7 hours talk time and 12 days standby time on 3G. The US version of the Lumia 900 has both LTE 4G and HSPA Plus support, but the worldwide version only has HSPA Plus, but that still gives download speeds of up to 21 megabits per second. The Lumia 900 now supports GLONASS positioning as well as GPS, although this may well be a hidden feature in the US version. The UMTS bands are slightly different as well, but other than that the two Lumia 900s appear to be the same. Essentially the Lumia 900 is a scaled up version of the Lumia 800 and it shares some of the same very attractive design features with the Nokia N9. It certainly is a good-looking smartphone that's capable of giving Android and Apple rivals a run for its money, although probably the biggest drawback we can see is that the display isn't an HD panel. Some people have also complained that the 800 has sharp corners, especially noticeable when put in a trouser pocket. If you are looking for a relatively high-end smartphone but you don't want to follow the crowd, the Nokia Lumia 900 might be an interesting choice. Nokia say that it should ship from the second quarter of 2012 for 480 euro before tax and subsidy.